So we're looking at this file, uh, bank salaries, that we've seen uh, particularly in session six uh, in the year Opman 5751 course. And first thing we're going to look at is how to create dummy variables uh, with uh, or for this data set, if you will. So what I'm highlighting right now are the variables that I'm going to make dummy variables for. Okay, uh, they are. Two of them are obvious, so uh, gender and PC job, uh, they are obviously in need of some modification because um, their responses are words right now, so male, female, and PC job, yes, no. Um, what we're doing, we're creating these dummy variables to feed these variables or feed this data set into a regression, so we need numbers in um, our x or our explanatory variables and not words. Now a little bit less obvious, there's two more uh, variables that we need to make dummy variables for. Um, our education level and job grade, again this is the bank.xls uh, example from session 6, it's also in chapter 11 of your textbook. Um, and it explains these two, um, education level tells you uh, what education level you're at, so one being just high school, two being some college courses, uh, three being a college degree, etc, etc. And job grade is also uh, what we call categorical. There are job grades one through six if we look down here. Um, and uh, they haven't really specified what those mean, but they're the different job grades within the bank. Um, first one maybe being the cleaning staff, second one being, I'm not sure, but as you move up, sixth one being the highest, so probably the managerial staff. Um, okay, now what we're going to do again is we're going to make dummy variables for these four. Um, how to do this is in data utilities and create dummy variables. Okay. Everything's been selected, so that's good, and several is good. Click OK on that. And first one we want to do is education level. Click OK. And you'll notice it just made a whole bunch of extra columns here with education levels 1 through 5. The 1 being, uh, meaning yes, and um, 0 meaning no in our responses. Just going to change the format of those. Looks kind of goofy with the dollar signs. Those are not dollars. Those are yes, no's. Doesn't really matter if we leave it in. But so if you'll notice here, somebody with education level three, there's a one under the three zeros elsewhere. Okay, these are actually called Boolean variables, but we'll worry about that. Um, next thing is the job grade. So redo this data utilities, create dummy variables. And everything's been highlighted, so that's okay. That's okay. And now we go down to job grade. Click OK. Okay. And all those guys have been created. There's a whole bunch of them now. One through six. Oh, sorry. Okay, we need to do this two more times. One for gender. You can see female highlighted there. Uh, We'll highlight again the proper data. Control shift over, control shift down. Click OK. Click OK. And now gender. Click OK. And last one is PC job. All the rest are OK. Years prior, age, years experience, and salary OK. Um, because those numbers don't have other meanings other than. So 26 for your age, well, that's your age. Whereas job grade 1, well, what does that mean? It has another meaning attached. Um, so that's why we created a dummy variable for it. So last one, PC job. And then we'll be done this process and done this YouTube video. Um, click OK, and there we go. So now we have all of our dummy variables. Get a little messy here, but there we go. Okay.